Hi, how are you? I am Brando and I will talk to you about today about the verb to wait. Okay, the, um, if you don't know how to use the verb to wait in the, with the personal pronouns and if you didn't know the verb to wait had different but different definitions, I'll help you with that, okay? First, I'll go with the personal pronouns. You say, I wait, you wait, she waits, he waits, it waits, we wait, you wait, they wait. Okay? With negative phrases, because that was positive, positive phrases. With negative phrases, you have to say, I don't wait, you don't wait, she doesn't wait, he doesn't wait, it doesn't wait, we don't wait, you don't wait, they don't wait. Okay? With uh, questions, on the other hand, you have to say, do I wait? Do you wait? Does she wait? Does he wait? Does it wait? Do we wait? Do you wait? Do they wait? Um, I also have a list of, of different definitions, what I, was tell, what I was telling you about. The verb to wait has different definitions. If you master them all, you can use them or you can use the verb to wait in different kinds of conversations, okay? First is to remain in a place and not do anything until something expected happens. We waited until the boss came to be available or in readiness. A letter is waiting for you on your desk. Also, I, uh, to look forward to eagerly, to wait for a chance to get even. There's a, there's an idiom too. I have an idiom. Idioms are verbs to which you add a word in order to change the meaning completely. But it's, it's, it's still the same verb. Wait out, which means to postpone or delay action until the end of something. Like, we decided to wait out the storm. Okay, we decided to postpone something until the end of the storm. I hope it was uh, enjoyable for you, I hope it was useful. These were the uses of the verb to wait with the personal pronouns and also with the different kinds of sen sentences you can face. Thank you very much, practice and see you next time. Hola, soy Brando y en esta ocasión te voy a hablar del verbo to wait. Te voy a explicar su uso con los, con los pronombres personales y en el caso de que no supieras que este verbo se puede utilizar con diferentes, eh, en diferentes tipos de frases, te lo voy a explicar también. Voy a comenzar con los pronombres personales en frases afirmativas. Dices, I wait, yo espero, you wait, tú esperas, she waits, ella espera, he waits, él espera, it waits, esto espera, we wait, nosotros esperamos, you wait, ustedes esperan, they wait, ellos esperan. En el caso de frases negativas, tienes que decir, I don't wait, yo no espero, you don't wait, tú no esperas, she doesn't wait, ella no espera, he doesn't wait, él no espera, we don't wait, nosotros no esperamos, it doesn't wait, esto no espera, You don't wait, ustedes no esperan, they don't wait, ellos no esperan. Y si quieres hacer una pregunta, puedes decir, uh, Do I wait? Yo espero. Do you wait? Tú esperas. Does she wait? Ella espera. Does he wait? Él espera. Does it wait? Esto espera. Do we wait? Nosotros esperamos. Do you wait? Ustedes esperan. Do they wait? Ellos esperan. Y bueno, ese fue el uso con los pronombres personales del verbo to wait en frases afirmativas, negativas e interrogativas. Ahora les voy a explicar cómo se puede utilizar en diferentes tipos de frases, ya que aquí tengo diferentes definiciones. Primero sería to remain in a place and not do anything until something expected happens. Sería quedarse en un lugar y no hacer nada hasta que algo que tú esperas pase. Como por ejemplo, We waited until the bus came. Nosotros esperamos hasta que el autobús llegó. To be available, available or in readiness. Um, estar para cuando algo está disponible o está listo. A letter is waiting for you. 
on your desk. Una carta te está esperando en tu escritorio. To look forward or to, to look forward to eagerly. Para, o sea, como si tienen muchas ganas de hacer algo. To wait for a chance to get even. Esperar por una oportunidad de, de estar iguales. Y también tengo un idiom. Los idioms son palabras o son verbos a los que se le agrega una palabra para cambiar el significado de la oración o de la frase. El idiom que tengo es wait out, que significa to postpone or delay action until the end of something. Pues sería posponer o sí, posponer algo hasta que, hasta que algo termine. We decided to wait out the storm. Nosotros decidimos posponer hasta el fin de la tormenta. Y bueno, espero les haya gustado. Estos fueron los usos del verbo to wait con los pronombres personales en frases afirmativas, negativas e interrogativas. Y también cómo pueden utilizarlo con diferentes frases. Muchas gracias. Nos vemos en la próxima.